when touch chat if you have um, a specific child that you're interested in adding the whiteboard feature. Um, a lot of the times this is very helpful for students that um, are hyperlexic or who write to communicate. Um, and so sometimes it's hard to also bring a low tech whiteboard around. It's nice to have it built in. Um, we have a student that really loves to write. And so we really wanna build it into his system. So this is how you do that. So what I already did is I created, um, I took away the little period. This is Touch Chat Word Power 60 Basic SS. And so I'm going to go to the top right hand corner and hit menu. And then edit page. And then there's that blank button. And I already had tried it before just to make sure. But right here is usually um, a period, which I don't use. So a lot of times if I'm editing the system, I try to only take away something that is not really primary to the core word home page. So you do a press and you create the button, or in this case, you would edit the button if it was still the period, and you would delete all of the messages. So let's say it had something down here, you can slide it and delete, but I still want it to speak the message. I want to say, let's write. So I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to have it in the button message. You could also have it as the label, but I try to... Depends on the child. Sometimes having the words in there is helpful. Oop, not let message. Let's write. And then you can just select image and do the little search magnifying glass. And I like to just look right to see what's there. If you scroll down, there's a little person writing on a whiteboard. And then now you have the image. Then you back down to the button actions and you add an action and you want it to navigate to a new page that's blank. So you're going to scroll all the way to the ends. There we go. Hit navigate and there's a little plus sign in the top right hand corner and you do a new blank page. I like named this page whiteboard and since I already made one to practice I'm just going to name it two and save. No animation and save. So now that button is there and it's going to navigate Let's right. to a blank page. So we don't want it to look in this grid sense. So we're going to change the button size and also make the button act and be a whiteboard. So if you go back to the right hand corner menu and you hit um, edit page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a long press and I'm going to create a button. And I'm going to go all the way down button actions and instead of speak message, I'm going to take slide it to the left and delete that. And I'm going to add, if you scroll all the way down, I'm going to add a whiteboard. So now this will act as a whiteboard, but I want this button to be larger. I also like to change the body color to white, unless you have a child that needs a red background or something for vision. This is a typical whiteboard. For this specific student, it has to look like a whiteboard. I know it would upset them. Click save. And so now that button is still really small and it would only function in that one button. So you do a long press and change in size. And you can make it so you have a home button in one area if you want to. So, um, but for now, I'm just going to create a version that has no area for buttons for now. Now let me try it with the buttons and see what it looks like. So now it'll be this full version. And maybe in this corner, I create a new button and I'm going to just label it, um, go back. You can also copy a button. So I can show you how to do. Um, I just want it to navigate home. navigate home or navigate back uh, no animation save done so it should look like this um, it will go back and then it will go back like that and it should work like a whiteboard so when you so it's right write, and you start working you can kind of um, write whatever um, and then they can do it you can also when you click on whiteboard you can clear it you can also save it load it change the color if you don't want this section, you can also just use the back button. So I'll show you how to do that. So if you go to edit page, 
and you want this button to take up the whole spot, or not a button, but change the size. You can make it so it covers all columns. And then this whole area is a whiteboard. And then you can always just go back by pressing that little back button.